Alright, so, what's up everybody, I'm Dibot, I'm joined by Looney, and this is Halo CE Anniversary on Steam! Yes, finally! And the first thing I'm going to do is turn this game's volume down because it's trying to destroy me. It's, it's a little loud. We're not playing on normal, are we? Huh? I mean, I can, we... ch I can change it if you want. I haven't even started. Heroic is the only acceptable difficulty. Fine. And for those watching, you will notice that I have uh, turned on the stats for you, so... Uh, let's see. Visuals, remastered. Oh, will it go to classic? Interesting. Heroic. Um, skulls. What skulls do we want? I mean, grunt birthday party, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Anything else, or should we just keep it simple? Let's say keep it simple. So, I like the interface. It's uh, it's pretty easy to use. It's a little weird at first, and then you figure it out. So... Yeah, swapping between games is pretty smooth. Yeah. So, one thing we're going to talk about right away is, we talked about this last night in Discord, is um, the in-engine cutscenes are pretty jank. Don't worry about the stuttering. It's not in the gameplay. Yeah. As soon as the uh, letterbox goes away, it completely smooths out. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, right now, this is running at 200 FPS, and it's still got just noticeable weird... It's frame time problems. That it's really stuttery for some reason. But, as soon as we go boots on the ground, and God, this mission just brings back so many memories. Like, this is an iconic video game moment. So, stuttery and. will go away now. And now, silky smooth. God, I love Grunt Birthday Party. I'm averaging about 119 right now. I'm at about 100, yeah. I think the biggest thing to talk about is, like, it feels perfectly, perfectly smooth. It does. It, it feels really nice. One thing I've noticed is there doesn't seem to be an FPS difference between classic and modern graphics. Interesting. Is that swappable on the fly? Tab. Oh! Actually, um... Yeah, there's really not. That's interesting. You know one thing that's also really nice about this is having back the OP as hell pistol. got a great draw distance and like pretty minimal to no pop in on like uh textures Ooh. grass hmm what's wrong it's some bizarre input lag right now really mostly just with movement hmm i feel i feel okay man the god the pelican looks awful in the original graphics everything looks awful you're, everything you're right uh you want to drive Yep. Uh, get out it's a bad idea, but I'm driving. I got me a gun. One ninety four, two hundred in classic. I mean, there's a little drop off when you change, and my frame rate did take a hit as we started driving, and it forced it to stream more stuff in. And it seems like my sensitivity changed as soon as I got on the warthog. That's really weird. I felt that a little bit last night, actually. I'm having to make some really broad movements to turn. Also, as a side note, for in the small number of you that use this program, this game does not play well with mouse without borders. You just saw me turn it off because it wouldn't bound my mouse inside the monitor correctly. So... Let's see. Hello, friends. Have a chain gun. I There's a red elite up there somewhere. Yeah, I may have gotten the uh, in-game audio a little too quiet, actually. The game's pretty good about altering settings on the fly, though. 
I did have some weird issues yesterday trying to rebind to melee and stuff. They also fixed the zoom issue that was initially there. Yep. Is there a sprint in this we game? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Reach was the first Halo game that had any sprint whatsoever, and that was an armor ability. Oh, Beyond that, you're not coming with this me. is as fast as you can go. Ed, I'm attempting to. There we go. I went to check the Warthog to see if there are any interesting weapons next to it. Ow! There are hunters up there. God, the, they did a really good job with the, uh, the announcers and stuff. Like, textures. And, so when you go to, like, basically, it's almost... Halo, the original version, almost looks flat-shaded now. When you toggle it in this area. Like, if you just look at, like, the canyon wall, it l almost looks flat-shaded in the original graphics. It does. Hello, hunters! Oh, yay. There are a couple of overshields down there, too. Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm also dead, by the way. Oh. And I can't respawn because you're uh, in combat. Uh, uh, can I back out? Still can't control the camera at all in this uh, observer mode. Yep, I'm back up. Okay. Ow. You walked right into that one, didn't you? I think I just got faced. Oh, I lost my magnum. Where is it? Give me that back. It's gone. You ass. That's awful. Hmm. Oh. Uh, for a second there, I had the uh, charging sound that the plasma pistol stuck on. This is a flighting test, so it is definitely yeah. a little buggy. Even with this flight, they are changing some issues with uh, the Reach release as well, even though that's full release. Ooh, get away from me! Oh, you got some uh, jackals behind you. Oh, now he's after me. He's dead. Jackals I could deal with. Like that. Yeah, whenever I'm rapid firing the plasma pistol, the uh, charging sound is staying off. I actually have a plasma pistol. Let me see that. Yeah, it is. I can hear it too. <laughs> hmm, we should probably report that one. <laughs> they probably know about it already, yeah. to be honest. Whoa. I'd be dead. Performance is actually looking pretty steady, too, across the CPU. Like, they've threaded this game properly, it looks like. Like, I'm getting a little bit of a high load bouncing around between cores, but it's not like maxing out one and not using the others. And it's only using nine... Uh, yeah, nine gigs of RAM. Oh, hi, buddy. I'm behind you. Good old Kneeler. I love the Kneeler. What am I carrying? I, I want something besides this plasma pistol. I, I recognize the plasma pistol is a decent weapon, I just don't like it. Let me actually pop up the task manager at least so I can see what it is using. Oh, it didn't like that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't like tabbing out. Did it crash you completely? No, I'm good. Right now I'm sitting at 2.3 gigs of memory used. Ow! <laughs> Took some needles to the face there. I'll walk it off. Will you? Yeah, there is no camera control here. That's a little weird. Yeah. Alright, there's more over shields over this way. Awesome. I now, have a, uh, I now have a needler. 
I need to get mine back. So, I haven't looked. Are they doing these? Are they just going to start chronological order now that they've gotten reach out of the way? Or are we going to go one, two, three? Yeah, that is that is the plan, is chronological order. So, reach was first in terms of story, so that's why they started with reach. So, is everybody going to be mad again when uh, they finish Halo 2 and get that stupid-ass ending? Probably, yeah. Ammo. That thing has a disappointingly low amount of ammo. Nope, I'm out of grenades. Grenade behind you, watch out. Ooh, that hurt. I'm headed back up to swap my dealer back. Never mind, I'm dead. I'm pulling out. I left my uh, assault rifle up top. You back? No, I have uh, another one. Yeah, I just heard you spawn. I don't think they follow us. Nope. All right. Got some neat blue rounds. Headed back. Oof. God, the needler looks rough in the original graphics. You can kind of just dance around these guys a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just stay at their back. Miss me. Goodbye, friend. There we go. Checkpoint done. I remember there are invisible elites in this level. Yep. A little bit further up. Turn this to the classic graphics. One thing I've noticed between classic and modern is that the classic graphics do have a lot more dark areas. They're a little more. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is moody. I was gonna say there's more in a way there's almost more atmosphere. Yeah. This is a security override station for the main facility. Located somewhere else on this island. Now we get a jittery cutscene. Won't be able to lock us out. We should now have access to the main facility. Alright. Let's find the map room. I just realized we skipped a part. <laughs> Did we? The part where we go and see that door get closed. Oh, Ooh, I got a lot of jank coming out of that cutscene. It's resolved itself so did now, I. but. Mayday, mayday. Bravo 22, enemy fire. This is where there are invisible leads, I think. Maybe. Yep. They have no shields, though. No shields, and they have plasma rifles, so they're fairly easy to drop. It's very rude of them to be invisible, though. Right? Alright. Decent weapons again. Another the checkpoint. Plasma grenades are full. There's a warthog on the ground outside now. Perfect. And remember, there is uh, not much fall damage. Bravo was Never mind. Heavy After I How'd that fall weapons, damage work out for you, bud? You that was a little bit too far. Move down the beach. I think if you drop right here, then right here. Might have gone too far. Yep. I think they actually changed the fall damage at some point. It's looking like it. Because the last time I played through here, which was right after this flight started, you could just drop down here. There we go. Oh, I almost died doing it. I got it. Over on this side, you can still rock bounce. Oh, there's some dead Spartans, a... or those are dead Marine. loonies. No, these are these are dead loonies. Yeah, look at me, so sad. <laughs> anything, anything? I have the rocket launcher. Oh, okay, he has good stuff. And there's just a jackal standing over there. A oh. pair of jackals standing over there. Do it. It. Hello. Well, the uh, combat AI seems to be a little bit lacking at some places at the moment. Yeah. They didn't see me till I was 10 feet away. Uh, 
That really looks like that should be connecting, but whatever. It's just nice to be in this game world driving around again. Whee! It is. It really is. We can pick up a marine here. Oh, somebody to come die for us. Let's roll. Sure is, pal. What did he say for you? It's showtime! Ah, uh, he just said, let's roll for me. Just trying to make sure I remember which way to go. So we actually get to the room that we were supposed to go the first time. Ooh. Oh, that's right. In Halo 1, getting EMP'd isn't a thing. Nope. I had that in what, 2? I believe so. This is where we're supposed to go the first time. Well, I mean, you drove right by it. Yeah, uh, dumb beach. Just be careful right here. Yeah. I don't really have a shot. You know what? I have a rocket launcher. It's fine. Oh yeah, that's right. You do have a rocket launcher. Go oh, readily. Ow. Got plasmid instantly. I don't remember this cave over here. Really? Did they add something? I mean, it's to be fair, it's been quite a few years since I've played yeah. Halo 1. It's just a weird little shortcut off to the side, okay. A way to get up from the beach. Huh. Oof, those trees. Yikes. <laughs> I'm just... And honestly, after playing uh, Halo 1, I stopped playing Halo 1 and started playing Halo Custom Edition and just was using modded maps the whole time. Ah, uh, gotcha. He's down. The Covenant are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must be here. Where is Sword Boy? We're gonna find out. Oh, I think I just got teleported. Even though I was two steps behind you. Interesting. Yeah, here's a good example of the lighting change. Yeah. Now we get a, <laughs> another janky cutscene. I wish you could switch graphics in cutscene. I know, me too. Right now I'm on old graphics. Because I was when it started. Honestly, the, the old lighting does just have way more atmosphere. It really does. Oh, Looney, come here. Look. See those bodies over there? Yeah. Look at them in classic and then look at them in normal. Yeah. Why? That's a weird change. Why would they take that out? Oh, yeah, they did get rid of the blood. That's odd. Huh? It's a test. Yeah. I wonder if I can jump down there. Oh, God. Probably not. Probably not. I don't think I can jump that far forward. No, that, that looks like insta-death. We'll be down there shortly anyway. Hello, friend! Dang, red elites. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. I hear lots of grunts. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Getting a little more jitteriness here. Although not... Like, the FPS timing is more like the game just kind of stuck for maybe a quarter second. Interesting. Well, it's still a test. Fuck your shields. Open door, get lit up. <laughs> that is how this works. I believe those dead marines down here have a magnum. Uh, Lenny? <laughs> Did you ignore, like, the five jackals that were immediately to our left? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I gave them a plasma grenade as a welcoming gift. They're just jackals. It's fine. Actually, no, you're going to have the magnum. I still have... Did Fuck you? Fuck me. 
I'm alive. <laughs> I'm further down now, but I'm alive. Ouch. I found a safe way to join you. Ah, yes, we have. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more of that weird input lag. Hmm. I wonder if it has an issue with super high frame rates. Potentially, there is a setting to limit it. VSync on somewhere in here. I, I, frame rate limit sixty. Have, settings. have to let me know if that makes a difference. Oh, got it. Feels like shit, but the input's better. The difference between 60 and 200 is astonishing. Ow. Sorry. That was my fault, but you shot me in the back of the head. <laughs> Over. <Let> me. <laughs> I got needled. Is my, is my roll country gone? Nope, here it is. Yes. Did get needled just a little bit. This is where there'll be more invisible leads on the way back. Mm -hmm. Ooh, over shield. Oh, nice. Oh, there are some red elites over there. Did I get the second one? Yep. A little bit of overkill. I'm gonna go push the button. Look, they're dead. That's all that matters. Analyzer. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I interpreted this correctly. I could be wrong, but this cutscene might feel a little bit smoother at 60 FPS. Hmm. And actually, I'm still getting that little bit of input lag. It's not as bad. Let me switch back to. Unlimited frame rate. Oh god, yeah, that's... The input lag is back with that. Good to know. So it's definitely a frame rate issue. That's probably something they can sort out uh, fairly easily. But yeah. Here is where we will have some invisible elites, I think. Once we go up a little further. Mm -hmm. My video feed just went wacky. There we go. It's back. I have two rockets left. Like, this hallway, when you switch between classic and modern, is shockingly different. Yeah. Ow. Just waiting for my shield to come back. Popping those guys through the shield is definitely more difficult on OG Halo. Still doable, but yeah. It feels a lot different. God, the music. I love it. I don't have any right now. That's strange. Oh, wait. I turned it down too low, I think. Ooh, gotta wait for my shields to come back down. up. Because I are hurt. Don't do that. This whole thing is just one big nostalgia train, though. Yeah, it really is. Oh, this blue lead's gonna kill me. No, Looney! Rocket! Haha! I was coming to save you. And the damn jackal got me. Got him. It's always a jackal with a plasma pistol to the back. Always. That's what they do, man. There you are. Get your Weird how it gives me a plasma pistol. Nope, it's empty. Aw. Sad times. Yes. The spanker is empty. Oh, hello. I don't remember you. Wait, yes, I do. Oh, God. I'm dead. There was a drop behind me. It's possible to get the hunters to go down that drop. Oh, man. 
Ow. That looks painful. All right, well. I don't remember them being this in your face as soon as you get up there, though. Oh, God, why are there two of them? There are always two of them. I know. Oh, that's a red elite! Oh yeah, he's hunkered in a corner back here. Yeah, all right, I'm back. Uh, ooh, plasma rifle. Okay, they they like me, not you. Good to know. Oh, fuck! Bye, Looney. One of them's dead. <laughs> oh, that's a dead end. Back where you killed you. They uh, they sent me for a ride. I found the bottom of this place with my face. I am dead. Be careful. Got you. Okay. Jesus. Alright, that's Hunter's got down. Here. Just that red elite. Just have the red elite. They are great at dodging needles. Yeah, yeah, they are. Which is really annoying. His shield's down. He's down. There we go. Man, this feels so good to play. It really does. Quibbles with the input latency and everything, like, that is something that can be patched out, but... Like, the core yeah. experience is still really good. Just trying to remember how to get out of this room now. <laughs> this way? No. Door. Door? Door. There you are. Let's go. That was one thing that Halo 1 did great, and I think really the whole Halo series has is that there's a lot of empty space where there's nothing. Yeah, Red Elite. Yep, hit him. I missed him! Shit! God, they can take some hits. Yeah, yeah, they can. He's down. Gonna take this guy's plasma rifle. All right, up we go. Oh, there's a sword elite. Back up. <laughs> Whoo! That was uh, fun. He gives you a lot of trouble solo. <laughs> I, can I had to run at him about six or seven times when I played through this. I believe this is where we get some invisibilities. Oof, I got teleported. Yeah, I heard you hit the floor when you came up. Yep, there they are. There we go. And there they go. Get some nice plasma grenades. Yeah. Fresh plasma rifle. Partially fresh. All right. And we catch a ride. Catch a ride! Boy. Okay, so when you get in any vehicle, your uh, sensitivity drops. Seems. Yeah, it seems like it. <clears throat> That's new. We flew like 20 feet. Yeah. Except it will. 
It will turn on a dime. Literally, it will. It's literally doing it right now. <laughs> All right, I think we can probably call it here. Um, final thoughts? Eh, it's great. It feels just like the original Halo when you play through it. It's just, after the test, I'm hoping to see most of these issues fixed. Yeah, and to be fair... Particularly the, the input lag. To be fair, the overall game is here and intact. It's just... We literally are at the point of, like, nitpicking tiny things at this point. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic experience overall. The only issues are the little nitpicky things, and yeah, that's it. It's great. So thanks, guys, for watching. Looney, thanks for joining me, as always. Yes. And we will see you guys next time.